So I'm Michael Ajide, um, I'm a youth worker at Burnham Settlement. Um, and we're based in Aston um, on the Whitton Road. Um, we have a number of different range of services. We're a charity that's been going since 1899, so well over 100 years. Um, and we have a number of different services that works from early years, children, all the way to the elderly people. Uh, we also have the youth service as well. And within that, we've got our money advice team um, who support individuals with debt and benefit advice as well, so which is something that we do across the city. Well, Aston Community Games, I guess, is an opportunity for people to come out. I and mean, if you think about what's been happening for the last 12 months in society, really, with COVID, um, it's something that you know people can look forward to, gets people out of their house, get back to social interaction, which we know there's a massive benefit to that. Um, so it's really much an opportunity for people to come out, meet one another, interact over you know football games, five-a-side, cricket. Um, so yeah, just a fun day, really. The games have been organised really and put together by stakeholders across the area, um, across the Aston area really. Um, so we've got Sati has got ourselves, we've got the Villa Foundation um, and a number of stakeholders and assets across the area who are coming together to put the game on uh, for the local community. So I guess it's an opportunity for different organisations to showcase what they do uh, and also to interact with the wider community as a whole as well. Why should you come? Well, like I said earlier, really, is, is get out of the house. I'm sure we all been cooped up in the house for the last few months, so that's more than a good reason to want to get out. Um, in terms of what's available on the day, there's different activities, sports days, you know, effectively, if we want to keep it, old school sports days, really. Um, you know, so you're going to have football, you're going to have cricket, um, you're going to have boxing, archery. So the different sports that people can taste for the first time, if you haven't done them before, and obviously your old, you know, traditional sports, e.g. football and cricket, like I mentioned, you know, they're on offer for people to participate in as well.